football, and uh, there are few schools as steeped in tradition as the Texas Longhorns. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down and reviewing at Texas's long and illustrious bowl history. I have reviewed Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, and Oklahoma's bowl history. Uh, I have received a request on Texas. I won't necessarily run through all the teams participating in bowl play unless you request it. So this is fair game. Any of the teams that are playing in bowls, I will run through their bowl history if you send the request or the history of a particular bowl, the Rose Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, the Quick Lane Bowl, any of the bowls, any of the bowls that you want a review of the history of that particular bowl game, send your request. I'll knock out the video for you. Texas has played in the second most bowl games, 54. Their all-time record is 28-24 and two ties. If you're a young college football fan, look up ties pre-1997. Yeah, teams actually played to a tie and walked off the field without a winner. Texas has played in 22 Cotton Bowls. Why so many? Well, of course, the Southwest Conference, which existed until 1995, sent its champion to the Cotton Bowl. And that was many times Texas. This is the Longhorns' fourth Sugar Bowl when they tee it up against Georgia uh, the night of January 1st. And uh, the last time Texas uh, played in the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans was against Virginia Tech in 1995. They went down in that one 28 to 10. Appropriately enough, Texas's first bowl game was the 1943 Cotton Bowl against Georgia Tech, and they won that game 14 to 7. Of note would be Texas's 1944 game. If you look through Texas Bowl history, of course, you're going to find them playing on a routine basis all the national powers. A lot of games against Notre Dame, against Alabama, uh, other teams obviously across the college football landscape. But how about playing a Randolph Field to a 7-7 tie? Randolph Field, can somebody help me out with a history lesson on Randolph Field's college football program? And we're not talking about 1890. We're talking about 1944, when college football was ruled by the likes of Texas, also Army, Notre Dame. But uh, Randolph Field played Texas to a 7-7 tie uh, New Year's Day 1944 in the Cotton Bowl. All right, Texas will, of course, be taking on an SEC team this year in Georgia. The Longhorns are 11-8-1 against the SEC. They defeated Georgia back in the 1949 Orange Bowl, 41-28. And in a game that I watched, they lost to the Georgia Bulldogs in a costly, costly 1984 Cotton Bowl loss where the Longhorns entered the game number one in the country at 11-0 and fell to the Bulldogs. 10 to 9 to cost Texas and Fred Akers a national championship. Daryl Royal has been, uh, maybe up until Mac Brown, the most successful coach in the history of uh, Texas football, and it st could still be argued uh, based on his number of Southwest Conference championships and national championships that he is still the most successful coach in Longhorn history. From 1957 to 76, he took Texas to 17 bowl games. They won eight. They lost eight, and they tied one, and they finished in the top 10 10 times in those uh, 20 seasons, 10 times in the top 10 for Texas under Daryl Royal. The big wins included the 1964 Cotton Bowl, which handed Texas a national championship for 1963 as they defeated Navy and Heisman Trophy winner Roger Stallback as uh, Phil Harris caught two touchdown passes, and the Longhorns prevailed 28-6. In 1969, they won the Cotton Bowl again, 21-17 over Notre Dame, to win a national championship and finish number one in the AP poll, as Billy Dale plunged over from the one-yard line with 68 seconds left to win it for Texas again over Notre Dame, 21-17. Big losses in the Cotton Bowl hurt Texas many times. I mentioned the 1983 team that lost to Georgia that would have won the national championship at 12-0. They had similar fates in 1959, 62, 70, 77 with Earl Campbell. Four times between 1959, actually let's go five times between 1959 and 83. In those 25 seasons, five times Texas could have won the national championship but lost in the Cotton Bowl. All right. 
In uh, the 1981 Cotton Bowl, 1982, January 1st, they defeated Bear Bryant in Alabama 14-12. to This was Bear Bryant's second-to-last bowl game. The Bear won his final postseason game, the Liberty Bowl, against Illinois 21-15, but he lost this one in a huge matchup. Texas-Alabama, two top-five teams, and Texas won it 14-12. to They trailed 10 to nothing in the fourth quarter, but uh, were led back by quarterback Robert Brewer and a uh, game sealer of an interception by William Graham. Texas that year finished at 10-1-1, number two in the country, as Clemson won the national championship at 12-0. Fred Akers, despite uh, some of his really good teams going to postseason play, went 2-7 with Texas in uh, his bull run there with the Longhorns, uh, similar to John Cooper's fate at Ohio State and going 2-10-1 and and coming within just a couple wins of being a legendary coach. Legendary coach. You could say the same thing about Fred Akers, who, uh, again, in 1983, could have won the national championship, but it lost it by one point, and there were a few other near misses. Between 1986 and 93, Texas was down. They missed bowl play six of eight seasons. Then John Makovic took over, coming from the Kansas City Chiefs, where he was the head coach. And uh, Texas finished in the top 25 his first three seasons at number 25, 14, and 23. A 4-7 and seven campaign got Makovic fired, but he did win the Sun Bowl among his three bowl games, but he lost his two other games to Virginia Tech, the aforementioned 1995 Sugar Bowl, and also lost to Penn State in the 1996 Fiesta Bowl. That was the James Brown-led team that pulled off a major, huge mammoth upset in the inaugural Big 12 championship game over Nebraska to usher Texas into the BCS, or what was the Bowl Coalition at the time, into the Fiesta Bowl with a five-loss team, and they lost to Penn State 38-15. to Mac Brown took Texas to 15 bowl games, they went 10-5 uh, and five in those games from 1998 through 2012. In Mac Brown's very first uh, postseason appearance coming from North Carolina to Texas, Ricky Williams and his Heisman Trophy winning season uh, led Texas to a win in the Cotton Bowl over Mississippi State 38-11. to uh, Of course, Mac Brown won two consecutive Rose Bowls with Vince Young at the helm, beating Michigan in 2004, and then the all-time classic against USC, 41-38, winning the Rose Bowl and coming back from uh, double digits down in the second half to upset the Trojans at the Rose Bowl, 41-38, and win the national championship, the very final national championship of the BCS era that was actually played in a bowl game and not titled the BCS championship. All right. In 2008, meaning January 1st, 2009, Texas knocked off Ohio State in a very entertaining Fiesta Bowl 24-21. Texas scored the game-winning touchdown when Colt McCoy hit Quan Cosby with 16 seconds left in the game to beat the Buckeyes 24-21. Of course, in 2009, Texas last stepped on the field with a chance to win a national championship against Alabama at the Rose Bowl in the BCS championship game. Colt McCoy was uh, knocked out of the game in the first quarter. Texas uh, went down early 24 to 6, battled back behind a Garrett Gilbert to within 24 to 21 early in the fourth quarter. Uh, got, kept that game within three points up until about six minutes left. Bama scored two touchdowns to salt it away 37 to 21. Between 2001 and 2009, Mac Brown had quite a run with the Longhorns. His teams finished. Number five, number six, 12, six, one, 13, 10, four, and two in the national polls. Five, six, 12, six, one, 13, 10, four, and two in the final AP poll. Of course, he lost the national championship game to Alabama and beat USC to win the national title for 2005. Mac Brown's last bowl appearance was not anything to be remembered by as Texas was shellacked by Oregon 30-7 to in the 2012 Alamo Bowl. Uh, Charlie Strong coached three seasons at Texas, could only take the Longhorns to one bowl game at 6-6, six and six, but he finished at 6-7 and seven after the Longhorns were blown out by Brett Bielema's Arkansas team 31-6. And, of course, Tom Herman won his very first 
Texas Bowl appearance in the Texas Bowl, defeating Missouri as an underdog 33-16 last season. Texas-Georgia, great matchup. They meet for the third time in bowl history, uh, adding to the 1949 Orange Bowl win for Texas and the 1984 Cotton Bowl win for the Georgia Bulldogs. If you want to hear bowl history again, let me know your team that you would like to hear their bowl history or to review a particular bowl game's history. Any of the bowl games we will review based on your request right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.